in this lecture we will look at into the importance of gyrases there in the process of dna replication first we look at into the size of the e coli chromosome say if a e coli chromosome is linearized you all know that it's a circular chromosome when it is linearized it would be around 1 mm in length so approximately if you look at it will be some 400 times longer than the e coli cell length itself so the question arises how this long 1 mm length of a dna molecule is getting packed into few micrometer sized e coli cell which is having only a little space that comes the answer that it's a higher order structure of the dna which makes them easily to get packed inside the cell so this higher order structure refers to conversion of the double standard dna into a highly supercoiled form by lot of twisting if a circular DNA molecule is linearized, most of the supercoils will be removed and it will be referred as a relaxed form. So, two forms of DNA have been existing. One is a relaxed form, another one is a highly twisted form, also called as a supercoiled form. So, this supercoiling puts the DNA molecule under torsion. Torsion meaning in Tamil, Murukudal, Thirugudal. So, DNA is twisted in such a manner and kept inside the cell. It is something analogous to a tensioned rubber band. Now, we look at the explanation that have been shown there in the image. So, in this image, you can able to see a relaxed circle. Apart from that, you can able to see a supercoiled DNA that have been formed finally. This has been effected through certain enzymes. Those enzymes are referred as gyrases. So, a relaxed circle, one part of the circle is laid over the other and the helix makes contact at least in two places. In those places, DNA gyrases enzyme can able to make a double strand break and an unbroken helix is passed on through that particular break. Thus, a double stranded break is resealed behind an unbroken helix that results in the formation of a highly supercoiled DNA. This supercoiling could be better understandable by looking at the video that I have already uploaded there in the e-tutorials that is in the quadrant 2 of unit 2 just below the serial number of 5. So, this video will show you how this supercoiling is effected there in the nature. So, by watching this video also, you can able to understand better about the activity of this gyrases enzyme. Next, we look at the other points related to the activity of this gyrases autopoisomerase enzyme. The supercoiling may be introduced mainly for packing the long sized DNA molecule into a small sized cell or the supercoiling may be removed also mainly under the condition of DNA replication and transcription. These things are effected through this gyrases or topoisomerases. There are two types of supercoiling that have been narrated here. One is a positive supercoiling and another one is a negative supercoiling. In a positive supercoiling, the double helix is overwound on itself. This commonly happens in certain species of archaea. Whereas in a negative supercoiling, the DNA is twisted about its axis in an opposite sense to that of the right-handed double helix. That is opposite to that of the right-handed double helix, it is getting twisted. And this is the common form of supercoiling that have been resulted in most of the living organism. There are two kinds of topoisomerases, gyrases are existing in nature. We look at those two gyrases type. Class 1 topoisomerases make a single standard break in the DNA that allows the rotation of one strand of double helix around the other. After making this rotation, that nick will be resealed. Whereas, when you look at into the class 2 group of topoisomerases or gyrases, which are commonly associated with making of a double standard break. 
So it causes a double sham break, passes the intact double helix over the break and finally reseal the break. So these process are all carried out by the topoisobrase tube. Insertion of a super coil into the DNA usually requires energy in the form of ATP. Whereas releasing of the super coil does not require any form of energy for the process. In Bactria and Archaea, there is an enzyme called as a DNA gyrase that is also called as a type 2 topoisomerase which introduces negative supercoils in the DNA. Since its mechanism involves creating a double strand mix, mix refers to the cuts, they are able to unlink the DNA molecule such as a daughter molecule produced during the course of replication that is during the cells multiplication. Next we look at the another important enzyme that is associated there with the DNA replication process. They are helicases. They are also referred as a DNA unwinding protein. These helicases are single standard DNA dependent ATPase activity processing enzyme. They are involved in unwinding and separating the strands of a double strand DNA. They are also called as rep protein that is they have been involved there in the replication process. It is coded there by RevG. There are two types of helicases existing in nature that have been coded there by the gene called DNA-B. Helicases 1 and helicases 2 are the common helicases. This rep protein binds to a region of single strand DNA in a double strand DNA molecule. Then it moves along in a 3 dash to 5 dash direction in the double standard region and they start unwinding the things when the whole process is going on. As a result, the separated strands may need to be further stabilized by single strand binding proteins which we will see in the next lecture.